Like any computer, your Synology NAS is sensitive to extremes in temperature. So if the weather is particularly warm, or you have placed your NAS in a very cold place, you may find that your NAS stops performing or powers itself down in order to protect itself from damage. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you manually monitor the temperature of a Synology NAS. Before we start, it's worth pointing out that if you enable notification services on your NAS, not only will you receive warning messages about its general status, you will also receive notifications when your NAS is about to overheat or power itself down due to temperature. If you keep your NAS in an enclosed space, it's a good idea to have some sort of thermometer close to your NAS. While a thermometer will only provide you with the ambient temperature around your NAS, it does help to determine if your NAS is in a location that conforms to its operating temperatures. As to the internal temperature of your NAS, it is possible to check its thermal status and its hard drive temperatures. However, this may not be the case for all models of Synology NAS. If we sign into Distation Manager using our administrator's credentials, by opening Control Panel, and then under the heading System, we select Info Center. We can then check the thermal status of our NAS. However, before we do, let's select Storage and check the temperature of our hard drives. Under the Drive heading, you will see a list of the drives installed on your NAS. You will also find listed the temperature for each of your drives. As the safe running temperature of your drives will be dependent on their make and model, it's worth doing a little internet research to check their operating temperatures. So for example, as we're using 4TB Seagate Ironwolf drives, we know that their operating temperatures need to be between 0 and 65 degrees. Let's return to General, and take a look at Thermal Status. Thermal Status is the overall system temperature of our NAS which is denoted by either a green light for normal temperature or an orange light to warn us that its temperature might be too high. While this is useful in that it gives us a quick indication of the overall temperature of our NAS, if we place our mouse pointer over the green light, we're shown its actual temperature. So because, as a general rule, most models of Synology NAS have an operating temperature of between 0 degrees or 40 Fahrenheit, and 40 degrees or 95 Fahrenheit, we now have confirmation that our NAS is functioning within normal parameters. However, as operating temperatures can vary between models of NAS, we recommend that you check the specifications for your model of NAS on the Synology website. As the temperature of your NAS is controlled by its fans, we have the ability to change the fan speed to better cool our NAS. If from the sidebar of the control panel, we locate and select Hardware and Power. Under the General tab, we have a heading called Fan Speed Mode, which gives us three options. Quiet Mode, Cool Mode, and Full Speed Mode. By default, the fans in your NAS will be set to Quiet Mode, which means that if your NAS starts to heat up, the fans will automatically change to Cool Mode and then Full Speed Mode depending on your NAS's internal temperature. For most home users, there should be no need to use any other fan speed other than quiet mode. However, corporate system administrators often prefer to leave server fans at full speed for more efficient cooling and system stability. So to summarize, in this video, we took a look at how you monitor the operating temperature of a Synology NAS, something that may help to ensure that your NAS has a long and problem-free life. 